Hello, I'm Risen Knight, and today I'll be doing a review on the Replica Master Sword, which is being sold by Sword Axe. And now I will first off the price. The price, it, this for some reason costs around $100 at a certain part of the year, like towards uh, March, and then like sometime it goes back down to like $80 um, on uh, in, like October. But then uh, it go. But then for some reason I bought this on uh, around Black Friday and I got it on sale for seventy one dollars. So if you're gonna buy it, buy around the, uh, November and stuff like that, maybe around Black Friday. But now I'll go on to the blade or the sword. Now we do the the scabbard. So now the blade itself is I think around uh, twenty eight inches long. That's like the entire thing's like forty inches long, maybe around that. I'll probably put the dimensions in the description. But I'll start with the designs in it. The sword, it's like a mirror finish, and it's 320 carbon, I think. No, 420 carbon. I'll probably put that in the description, too. And then there's, right here, there's, like, the engravings of the Triforce on this side. And it has it also on the other side. See? And now, I will go on to say, uh, I already said that, but now, the, there's a, already a problem with this sword. The engravings is already off, like right there, it should be more centered, and it's the same one on the back side too. And now, I'll go on to the, the handle now. And this part, it's alright, I mean, it's like, it could, they could have probably done a better job, but it's $80, not going to expect too much. And it's alright, I could, it's decent, and I'll show you on this side too. Yeah, so... Right there. Now the handle, it, it's a light purple. To me, I think this, the it looks better in the camera than actual because it's looking more of like a blue kind of. But really, it's a light purple, and I think it would. This will see like based off of the Scour Sword, which I think is more of a darker purple. But I, but that's just me. But now, now I'll go on to the next part, which is the scabbard. Which I think is probably the best part about this. I think the is really well done. I mean, there's this one part right here, but that's not too big for me. It's like, it feels nice and stuff. It's kind of heavy. But this part right here, all these are all made out of metal. I think aluminum or something. And there's a Triforce on this side, and along on the other side. And I think it, look, it looks pretty good. The blue is nice, and everything. And now, there's also another part that's not too good, but it doesn't really matter, like, this part right here. Now, I think it's better since they're both on, the same problems are both on this side. So that's not that big of a deal for me. Because it's like, if I was to wear cosplay with this and, like, wear it on my back, I would, you would not really be able, you would not be able to see this. But now, I'll go on to, uh, the war, the part that really makes, that really brings down the gray on this. Which is the blade. And it's at, you can't actually, you can't fit this on, on, you can't fit the scabbard, I mean the sword into the scabbard, which is really, I think it's completely disgusting what they did. And I think they kind of, is, it really brought down the price. I would expect more out of this. Now let me show you, which I'm moving this down, try doing it with one hand. Yeah, see I'm putting it into it now. It starts off fine. Let me just... He's going into it. But, oh, wait, nope, it doesn't go in because right here, it's they made this part to blade too big. I don't think they really made, or it could have been the scabbard. But I think, uh, it, as of right now, it's either one. Plus, you see how it's like kind of off. That part's not too big, uh, but I do think that's a problem. So now... Uh, I'm really disappointed. I'm, I'm angry, really angry at the company that did this, but I'm also really angry at. Well, I'm more so disappointed with myself for believing that this company would actually do some, make a decent one. But I could have just been stuck with a bad one, but I don't think I should have to pay eighty dollars and just risk getting a bad. And just like it's kind of like gambling. You're gambling for a good sword, or you're gambling for a bad sword. You're spending your money on on that, which I think is completely horrible. There were there were reviews. There was like three others on this, and it was saying how one was saying this was really good, another one was saying this was really good, five then four, then there was another one which is a more true one, which was saying how this was only three star. For me, I would give this probably a two star, maybe two and a half. I'm feeling generous, and the reason why is because of the scabbard. It's really good. I mean, this one I think was pretty good, probably one of the better scabbards here because it's like made out of metal, so there wouldn't be that there would be less of a chance of this game ruined. So now, uh, yeah, so this is the entire one we just go right to here. You see that? Now, 
All right, so now I do think that if I did get a good one, I could have probably brought the, if this part. I would have probably given it a four star if this would have went in all the way. But I'm probably gonna make another video on this after I'm fixing this. Saying why I think of it now, I will. I was really hoping to give them like a five star or four star and saying how well this is really good, but I can't. I'm just really disappointed in this. So. Yeah, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more, then uh, give me a like or even a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!